Yeah, let's try that. That hits him here. Boof. Doink. Tapping here and here. Yes. Putting a plus one here. Putting a plus one here. Hang one. Plus one countering everybody. Hang one. Plus one countering everybody. Drawing. Losing life. Swinging out completely. Going for a kill. Making it happen. Jeez, Hilda. Jeez. That was very, very, uh, cold as ice of you. Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mana Chamber. Hope you're staying warm out there. Um, today we are playing with the best commander, in my opinion, from Wilds of Eldraine, Hilda of the Icy Crown. For a blue, a white, and two human warlock, three, four. Whenever you tap an untapped creature and opponent controls, you may pay one. When you do, choose one of these. Create a 4-4 four, four white and blue elemental creature token. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Scry two, then draw two cards. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that. So guess what we're doing in this deck? We're tapping a whole lot of things. We got stuff like the Clockwork Drawbridge. You know, he's more of a defender, but he's got some tapping on his side. Or like the Fan Bearer, Gavany Trapper, I mean Giant Killer. All these things do some tapping. We can even tap out with some enchantments like the Bubble Snare, the Weak Stone Subjugator, and those are all one drops. We got stuff like Bitter Chill in here, more enchantment, Impede Momentum. Here's a, a sorcery that'll tap. People put some stun counters on them. We can uh, get rid of them with stuff like Swift Response. We got things like Cut Short, Expel, Removal, you know. There's just a bunch of other things. I mean, you know. Cast spells on my opponent's turn, tap things. We, of course, got like Relic of Legends, Pristine Talisman, File of Gladrail, Letter of Acceptance, all kinds of stuff to be able to ramp into bigger things. Like the Watcher on the Water, maybe we uh, get a tap going on their turn. We draw a card, Watcher in the Water activates, we make tentacles. We have like this McKindy Ox. We have this Bond of Discipline as a potential game ender. Tap all their creatures and everybody gets lifelink. That's scary. Or a Subjugator Angel can do the same thing. Or Kiora, Best of the Sea Gods. So yeah, basically we're going to be tapping out casting spells <laughs> with Hilda of the Icy Crown. Let's do it. All right, Hilda, let's see how best you actually are going against Grimgrin, Corpseborn, one of my favorite zomboids out there. Uh, we have some destruction, a little bit of tap and boost. Some more tap. Let's try it. Let's try it. We got three land. We just need one more for Hilda. There's plenty of things. Here's an island. So scary. Some boats in this island. Not his got an island. Here's a plains. And ending my turn, we don't need to put out this giant killer right now. He does put out a creature. Of course, it is a zomboy. Why wouldn't it be deserted? Beach. No attack. Ending turn. Grimgrin will probably just immediately die by this thing. Moment he gets Grimgrin out. Yeah, pretty cool sleeve over here. I got this cool mountain owl sleeve. Hits for two to damage. Could cut it short. Doesn't really matter though. Here's a plains. Here's a Hilda of the icy crown. She's icy. She's the best queen wearing the crown. See what he does. Swings a wretched throng, I bet. He's not ready. He's ready for that thing to die. Shield red. Swings both. Doesn't care if either dies. Doesn't swing at all. Interesting. To draw, I will resolve. Do a capture sphere. This would let me tap him at least. 
the sanctuary enters, puts a plus one count. Oh, yeah. Tapping shield red. Putting a plus one counter on myself, paying one. Making an elemental. Swinging, because I can. Blocks with the throng. Yep. Throng is dead. Looks for a new... Well, he, well, he doesn't have another throng. Because it's historic brawl. Kind of weird he has the throng in the deck at all, actually. Grimgrin comes out tapped. Has to sack a creature to untap. It probably does. Yep. Does. Can't attack. I draw. It's another land. Just what I wanted. I will resolve. Here's an island. Here's a... Drop down on Grimgrin. Yeah. It's not what you want, I know. Grimgrin's just too mean and powerful. Uh, to combat, swing out. Couple of couple of chunks. Here's a giant killer while I'm at it. And turn. Draw your draw your card. Gain your life. I got I cut short here. I'm ready for Grimgrin to come back. He's probably not going to swing shield red. It's a good defense. And it's doing its work. I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Just not as big of a threat to me as Grim Grin. Oh my gosh. Death touch 6-6. Six, six. That's not good. He does choose to swing. Hmm. This is where we, dis we start disagreeing on things. Whenever you tap one or more, draw a card. We'll, we'll just go ahead and take it, I think. My turn. Why don't we uh, just draw? Take the two, unfortunately. Here's a Grey Havens. Get a little scry. I'll keep that there. I do four, it leaves me with one total. Not quite what I want. I could theoretically convoke, but I need to cut short his Grim Grin, or else I'll be real hurting. Real hurty like. Um, that's four. Oh, everything's four. That's even four. I guess Sheree can do her thing. Here she goes. She'll tap the Grave Titan. Keep him down. Putting a plus one on Hilda. Paying one. Um, Making another? Or maybe I'll buff everybody up. Why don't we just buff everybody up? Boof. Crawling. Shield Dread. Resolve. I'll take it to combat. Swing. Here at least. Yeah. Just the six seven to block. Does block. Loses a little zomboy. Ends my turn. Resolve. Grim grin. Resolve. To attack, see if he passes his attack phase. He does. Go ahead and cut short now on Grim Grin. Auto paying. He can untap, but it won't matter. It's already targeted. His life has been cut short. I know what Grim Grin does. Not about to let you do anything with Grim Grin. Anything. Goodbye, Grim Grin. I will draw and get hurt a little bit more. 
Ouch. Feel of the grave. Resolve. Losing life. I need to start gaining life now. Icing death, maybe? Good way to die. But won't tap anything. Can tap up to two creatures this way. Doing lots of damage. Um. Yeah, let's try that. That hits him here. Boof. Boink. Tapping here and here. Yes. Putting a plus one here. Putting a plus one here. Hang one. Plus one countering everybody. Hang one. Plus one countering everybody. Drawing. Losing life. Swinging out completely. Going for a kill. Making it happen. Jeez, Hilda. Jeez. That was very, very uh, cold as ice of you. Best of Wilds of Eldrain so far. Taking the cake. Let's try another. And start with the sea chrome coast, baby. Look at that. We gotta sleep for a potential game ender. Egg blast. Harold, he's just he's just a chill boy. Swift of boots, uh-oh. I don't know this guy. An alchemy dargan. Dar Dargaz. Shivan champion. I'll read him in a second. Not doing that. Here's a planes. Here's a Imperial Subduer. On end step, conjure a card from his spell book. Put egg counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, if it's exiled, remove an egg counter. If there's no egg counters, put on the battlefield. Crazy. Lots of scary dargies, too. A lot of dargies. Wow, okay. Here's an island. Here's a letter of acceptance. Here's an imperial subduer. Oh, I guess he can't target you because of the hex proof, unfortunately. Oop. But you can't target me either, loser. Put out put something out I can target. Yeah. Put out something I can target. Like that, yeah. Now you got two things I can target. I will drow. Here's a Planes. Here's a Hilda. Swings. Start tapping that. Paying one, because I can. Making an elemental. Things are getting bonky over here. Blocked. He's got... He's only one land away if he puts out a land. Ooh, he didn't, but he's got the orb. He's got thine orbeth. No swing. No swing zone. Draw. Here's a... I don't know what I need. I guess I'll just throw out this mist gate pathway. Maybe put a talisman out? I swing tapping. And pay. Let's go for it. The talisman. The combat. Swinging with the subduer. Tapping down this guy. Yes, paying more, because I can. Let's make another elemental. This guy can even come out if I need it. The block. Will block. There's no reason for him not to. This moment. To damage. To in turn. He'll come out if he has to. This commander comes out. Solving. He doesn't. He puts a different guy out. Tyrant. Who is hexproof. Deals four damage to Hulda. Not what I want. Uh, take it. Nothing I can do about it. But Hilda back. Two attacks. To my turn. Here's a plane. So we put Hilda back out. There's a question. Take Potentially five in the air. Um, hmm. Kind of a tough 
choice at this moment. Maybe I put icing death out. We want to go for a large kill if I can with this sleep. Okay, Hilda. He comes out. Can't tap anything. Tap a creature I don't control. Yeah. Yeah, no attack. If I could have tapped something down, I would have sacrificed that subduer. Or tap down. But it ain't happened that way. Gwenna. Gwenna's good. Swinging five. He can be tapped down now. It's bad for him. Probably hits me for five, though. There's really no reason not to at this moment. Really no reason not to swing the tyrant. Destroying my... Can I do that? I don't think so. I can do anything with it. Goodbye, letter of acceptance. To me from being able to drill. It's five. Here it comes. Saw this one coming. Here goes that. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be funny. How about icing death? There you go. Icing death come out to combat with the subduer. How about tapping Gwenna down? I can pay this. I would love to put another elemental out. Actually. Blocks there. And then uh, ending my turn. If I could auto pay, I would. If I could, or I mean not auto pay, but add an extra one, I would have done this. Putting out his drogi. Drogi Minogi, hexproof because of this jade orb. Swing at me for five. I'll probably just take it. So this is 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Um, let's do no block. Just take it. So I think I can kill him next turn. And go crazy mode on him. He's not even going to expect it. So we do this and we just tap all of his creatures, right? Bang. There they go. We auto pay one. We plus one counter our boys. We auto pay it. We'll plus one counter our boys. We auto pay it. We'll plus one counter our boys. We swing out. We uh, some, do some popcorn because we, we balling out over here. It's crazy. Hilda, jeez. Has been doing nuts. I've got plenty of ramp. I just need to one single little land. Be okay. Going up against Goshintai. Life's origin. He's a good one. Dude's taking a minute. Let's look at his cool sleeves. He's got some return from the graveyard stuff, which I guess makes sense for Goshintai. Keep it. We want that hand. We already got a plan. We just gotta draw one land to make the plan work. So as long as I'm not get oh there it is. So as long as I don't get dudded out, we were gonna be a okay and we're okay. We're okay now, gentlemen. It's the Articar ways. We can throw this guy out. Marshal is a fur. Take one damage. That. Okay, Ottawara. Ottawara. Relic of Legends. Here it comes. Swinging for two. With my knight. Beautiful, beautiful knight. My marshal. Defense of the heart. More creatures. Sacrifice. Search for two. That's cool. That's real cool. He's Hilda. Swinging for two. There you go. Mondrak. We will, uh... Make him lose all of his abilities. Yeah, that's actually exactly what we're gonna do. Ooh, but I won't have enough to... Pay what I want. That's unfortunate, actually. 
I will then instead do this glacial, glacial grasp on him. There you go. And instead of making elementals, yeah, we'll pay it because we can. Let's plus one our boys. Combat. Damage. There's damage. Throw out this tapped sea chrome coast. Looks like a scary place to be, honestly. This would be really scary to live at. Go Shintai. Making a couple of shrines because I'm on Drac, of course. Confronted by robbers. Could be good. And I uh, won't have much. This. Let's just put this midnight clock out. And pay three. Not going to do that. Let's instead. The Tamiya's completion on Goshintai. Hmm, that's actually kind of fun. He doesn't make more. There you go. On Goshintai. Let's auto pay it out. Tapping down. I can't pay, unfortunately. Swing for three. Uses to block with a shrine. I'll put a uh, hour character on the midnight clock. Let's go Shintai can't do nothing. Oh wow. Gonna take an extra turn? That's not what we want to see. Let's go. Made a bunch of birds. Bird, bird, bird is the word. What is dude doing? I gotta honk at him for that one. His go, does he take it? Don't tell me he takes an extra turn. I'd straight punch his glutes if he did that. Enters as a copy of Hilda. That's pretty cool. Does he have the ability to tap things down is my question. That's my real question. Put an hour counter. Letter of acceptance. Let's put out this sanctuary. Zoop. Put it, tapping Mondrak. Putting a plus one counter on Hilda. Paying one with Hilda. Plus one countering our boys again. Putting out this letter of acceptance. Oh, but I'd have to tap down Hilda. Do that, and I don't really want to do that. Combat. What if I don't swing? this time don't swing in my turn go to his turn putting a midnight counter a polnith tapping down Hilda there it goes putting a plus one counter on my Hilda auto paying with Hilda We'll go ahead and move our boys up a little bit more here. Gotta go Shintai that we're gonna have to tap down. Wings out, so. Eight. Well, that's 13. Oh, yeah, he can't even destroy. He's going to destroy it. Wait, why did he do that? He destroyed his own guy. Okay, well, here's a surgical bay. And then here is a weak stone subjugation on the Goshintai. Yep. I can pay three, which I will pay three. Very, very shortly. Sacking him so he didn't so I didn't get the tap going. Resolve all. Decline that. But I need to tap when he attacks. And that guy attacks. Tap up to three, and it's only on opponents, so I'd have to plus one him somehow. He just concedes. 
I was gonna, he was gonna be down to one. I was, I don't know. He could have, he could have potentially held back. That was a bad choice. Hilda, Wilds of Eldraine champion, absolutely boofy. Wow, what'd you think about that? That was quite the uh, showing for Hilda. I agree that still is the best of the Wilds of Eldraine commanders. Just love being able to tap the opponents down. You're making elementals or buffing your dudes. You can tap people out. You're just an absolute madman with Hilda. Uh, what do you What do you think? Do you think she was actually the best in Walls of Eldraine? Is there a commander that you think would be better? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I appreciate everyone who has gotten me so close to 100 subscribers. If you would like to subscribe, eh, I would appreciate it. We're getting so close to 100 looks like right now in the community tab we're going to be doing a live stream for when i would hit 100 subscribers which is going to be i don't know any day now it could be tomorrow so thank you for your support thank you for your time and just thanks for being a cool person have a good one bye